Shalom everyone, it's your girl Sister Zion. Um, I have a um, video that I want to do today. I had to do a video on this. Um, it is very disturbing. Um, and it's kind of crazy because I literally just had a conversation with someone about a month ago about me moving to ATL for a business opportunity. And I've been considering it. I have, um, I, like, I still have time to think about can I, should I take this move or not, but I was on the phone with a friend of mine and she made a comment about um, why she doesn't want to, why she would never live in ATL and she said they have a big issue with um, drug rape, um, date, wait, date rape drug, I said drug rape, I'm sorry y'all, I promise y'all I just woke up, they having a big issue with um, date rape drugs and that um, it's getting to the point that it's getting so bad that the bartenders are even in on it and they are putting you know, drugs and girls drink so, you know, people could take advantage of them or rob them, or rape them or whatever um, cruel attention someone has to drug someone. And um, it's crazy because I came across a disturbing um, video. I'm going to link the, um, I'm going to link, I'm going to post the link to the video, but I'm not going to add the video to my video because it's, it's really disturbing and it, it's probably going to violate, 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 violate. <laughs> Facebook's rules, you know, so, and then for some of y'all, I suggest some of y'all, if you really don't want to see that, if that's something you really can't handle, if that's something sensitive to you, anything, I suggest you don't watch it, it, it is a little disturbing, because in the video, you see the girl, um, uh, th that this man get, gives her a drink, and for those who uh, investigate the video, you can kind of see a small pill at the bottom of her drink, dissolving, and you see her having a good time, singing it, acting, you know, drunk, getting white girl wasted, having herself a good time, and suddenly, within 10 minutes of this girl having this drink, you know, her body's going limp, and she's getting all sloppy and falling, you can tell that, you know, something's just going wrong with her just way too fast, but she's, you know, dancing up on a guy that's behind her. In this video, y'all, for those who choose to watch it, and I suggest, I said, you know, be careful what you let into your spirit, I watched it, and I kind of regret watching it, but I had to see was this really true in the video you see the girl falling she can't even stand up can't even keep her head up she leans and she's doing this y'all while streaming facebook live she's leaning forward and you see like tears coming down her eyes and she's saying help me no no stop somebody help me help me as you can look at the video you see the man over her and she's leaning over, she's falling. You see her trying to push him off, but like I said, she she's unique. She can't move, you know, whatever. And another female comes and like look at her and walks away. And then the people around them just start pulling out her phone, their phone, and just start recording her and this guy. The turn to find out he was raping her right in the middle of the club. He penetrated this girl while she was on Facebook Live. She was leaned over. You, you could tell, you could see tears in her eyes. She knew what was going on, but she was too drugged up to do anything. She couldn't fight back. She couldn't push him back, push him off. And the sad thing about it, the video went viral. Um, it got to the, um, the authorities. The cops are doing the investigation. She's cooperating, so we know that something did happen. She's cooperating with what happened. Um, and uh, she spoke out on her platform, on her Facebook. Only the, the, the number one thing that really disturbed me is by how how many people were around her seeing this happen maybe i don't know if they was thinking that you mean that these people was having sex in front of them in the club but if you hear somebody saying help me stop somebody help me you see them crying doesn't that, that should be signs that they're not having a good time this is not something that they want and um after the story got reported and the story went viral turned out this young lady uh, she's married she was originally supposed to go to the club with her husband. He decided not to go that night. So she went on her own with her friends or whatever. I think the story reports she was with some friends. She didn't go with her husband. Do you know he got on Facebook, y'all, and literally start victim blaming his own wife? Like, he literally just started talking to this girl as if this was not his wife. He was more mad at her saying, oh, you being a hoe, don't got you F fucking fuck excuse my language y'all it is what it is you've been watching my videos should know i curse um you getting fucked on facebook he started blaming her he was mad at her 
for getting on um, for that happening to her instead of being mad at the person who drugged your wife. You know what I'm saying? It's not nah, I see if you call her cheating, call her whatever you want, call her everything but a child of God. Understandable, you human. But she was raped and you was mad at her. And after people drug him and told him how much of a um sorry ass punk ass husband he is, he started changing his tune, making it seem like now he's supporting her. He was just upset. He was caught up in the moment. But it, it ain't no type of caught up in the moment. It ain't no way somebody can violate someone I love and I'm gonna blame them. Even if they shouldn't even went to the club, I'm still not gonna blame them. I'll be over there trying to um, whoop old boy ass or try to kill him for violating my wife. You know what I'm saying? But those are the type of things, stories that has really disturbed me. I know a lot of um, black males on my Facebook, on my platform, y'all always always accusing me as being a feminist, saying that um, I'm bashing black guys, I'm always bashing. No, when y'all do great things, I do report on it. But when y'all do some fuckery, fuck boy, beta male type shit, I'm going to call it out. A real king would want to protect his wife. He wouldn't want to... Um, like, he wouldn't want to degrade her. You get what I'm saying? Like, this woman just went through rape. And on top of that, the world saw it. And no one came to her aid. If she needed that support right then, it should have been from him, number one. But it's just, this shit is disturbing. I feel sorry for this young lady. Uh, you can tell her her on um, her facebook live video the one she re redid telling people that she is cooperating with the police and there is an open investigation or whatever i really feel sorry because you can just see now that her spirits is broken she was a totally different person when she was partying into what's going on but now you can just tell that she knows that you know the world is fucked up and too bad nobody had baby girl side you know but I hope she does find justice. I hope they do find that man to throw him under the bus. I hope somebody rape him in his chocolate factory booty hole. I hope, you know, to show him how I feel to be violated against your will. I hope some some somebody get up all in there. Uh, drop the soap. No hope, you know. So, uh, this shit is just fucked up, man. But Shalom, uh, like I said, I was going to live. I leave the link so y'all can click on it. And um, y'all have a great day. Shalom. Boy, the world is getting fucked up. So fucked up.